Hey guys, MDB here. I found this cosmetics ingredient that is skin protecting, moisturizing, and all natural. So now, let's get curious and ask the question, what is lanolin? How is it made, and what's it used for? So just to be clear, this is melted lanolin that I put on a hot plate. Lanolin normally looks like this yellowish brown wax that I have right here. It is made up of wax esters, fatty acids, and other organic compounds. It generally has a melting point between 38 and 44 degrees Celsius, and it comes from sheep. Yes, sheep. Or rather, sheep's wool to be specific. I also have to mention that lanolin is an emulsifier, humectant, and moisturizer that works great on dry hands. However, be warned, the raw product is quite sticky, tacky, and a little greasy. Use sparingly. Alright, before we get into how this stuff is made, let's switch gears and take a little trip outside, get some fresh air, and get some roof access, yeah! I mean, the only reason I'm up here is because my roof was recently inspected and determined to be in good shape. So to celebrate, we're gonna take a walk. And before I forget, if you're ever interested in obtaining lanolin, you can get it from our Etsy store at Scent Evoker. That's Scent Evoker on Etsy. The link is in the description box below. Now where was I? Ah, yes. How was lanolin made? As I mentioned before, lanolin comes from sheep. It is the waxy substance that is secreted from the sheep's sebaceous glands. From there, it covers the sheep's skin and gets into the wool. Lanolin helps protect the sheep's skin and wool from the harsh elements by making them both waterproof and by protecting important body parts from the drying effects of the bitter, bitter cold. Now, five bucks to anyone who can guess how lanolin is extracted from these lovely, magnificent creatures. You got it? No? Still thinking? All right, all right. I'll just tell you already. There are a few ways to extract lanolin, but the most common is to first shave off all the sheep's wool and collect it for further processing. As I mentioned before, much of the sheep's lanolin is trapped in the wool. The wool is then typically boiled in water or a special detergent for a few to several hours. During this boiling, the lanolin and other impurities will separate from the wool and remain in the water. Adding a few key ingredients like salt, sodium chloride, may also help in the separation process. After the lanolin is more or less completely separated from the wool, you typically keep boiling the remnants until the water is completely evaporated. After all this is done, what remains is the raw lanolin wax. This raw wax can then be filtered and refined to create different and useful grades of lanolin. For example, the raw lanolin on the left can be refined to achieve different color and texture properties, and the highest degrees of filtration are reserved for medical and pharmaceutical applications. All right, guys, we're almost near the end of the rooftop, and I definitely know that this upcoming door is locked, so we're gonna head up to the ladder here. I hope you guys appreciate the effort I go through. And I just wanted to remind you one final time that we have a really good source of lanolin on our Etsy store that is Scent Evoker. And all the information is in the description box below. Go check it out when you have the chance.
God, I hate slanted roofs, man. All right, continuing on, let's discuss what lanolin is used for. And as you've probably guessed by now, the overwhelming number of use cases for lanolin are related to skin care and topical treatment. Refined and certain medical grades of lanolin are used in thousands and thousands of cosmetics and personal care products, including these. These. And of course, these. Lanolin is used so extensively for a number of reasons. First, it is a fairly good emulsifier. That is, it helps create oil and water emulsions which are stable and homogenous. And creating such emulsions is the most important step in creating rich and luxurious lotions, creams, and body bombs. Second, Lanolin is amazing at protecting and nourishing human skin, the same way it protects and nourishes sheepskin. The long chain waxy esters that make up the majority of lanolin help seal in the skin's natural moisture. Meanwhile, lanolin's natural antifungal and antibacterial properties help to inhibit microbial growth. In fact, there are studies that suggest that lanolin is the closest substitute to human skin lipids found in nature. For these reasons, lanolin is often used to treat diaper rash, minor skin burns, chronic itching as a result of dry skin, and it is used by new mothers to treat sore and cracked nipples caused by breastfeeding. However, I would advise that you seek medical advice before applying lanolin to open sores and wounds. Well, we've reached the end of the rooftop, and I'm exhausted. Hope you all learned something useful today. Until next time, MDB out. Soon enough, we will be making more tutorials, showing you how to make lotions, creams, scrubs, and a thousand other items. Subscribe if you like our content and leave a comment. I would love to hear from you. Until next time, this is Million Dollar Batchmaker signing out.